Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to do a dye placement experiment. For this project, I have the shirt turned inside out, and I'm going to start by centering it. And you see all that stain on the front of the shirt? I originally started with using a stencil, and I didn't like the way the stencil was going, so I threw it in the washing machine and I've had it sitting over in a pile just waiting to do something on it. So I decided that I would just use this for an experiment because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I used my washable marker to mark out the center points and now I'm going to center it by using the sleeve inside the other sleeve technique. So I'm going to tuck one sleeve inside the other sleeve and then using those marks I give them a little pinch and a shake and then I just smooth it out the best that I can. I've got it smoothed out the best that I can and I've never done this fold before so I'm just winging it. So I folded the shirt in half and now I'm just going to fold it in half again and then I'm going to flip it over and fold it in half again. So there's four folds all together. Using my yardstick and a washable marker I mark out my pattern and for this one I'm going from the center of the shirt to up over the shoulder of the shirt. That's going to create an X. If I went the other way it would create the diamond pattern. And then I'm just going to pleat along this line and then secure it by using rubber bands. The rubber bands that I'm using for this project are the rubber bands that I call my second favorite rubber bands and I have them listed down below in the description box along with pretty much everything else that I use for tie-dye. So go ahead and check that out. Now that you have your shirt secure, you need to build yourself some type of an ice barrier. And for this project, I'm using the silicone cake molds that I got from Amazon. And I have it sitting on a rack that is ever so slightly elevated by little Tupperware containers uh, that are down at the bottom. And I've set the whole thing inside of a tote. That way when the ice melts, it'll catch all of the drippings. And here's where the experiment is coming in. So I'm adding the dye parallel to the, the pleats. Normally I go perpendicular and I have no idea what's going to happen on this. I've always been curious to see so well let's just put it on here and see what happens. The folds of this shirt are rather thick so I'm being slightly heavy handed with the dye and I'm also using the tip of the spoon to sort of open up the pleats and shove a little bit of the dye down in there. I really want to make sure that this has good saturation.
Next, you wanna give it a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure and then add your ice. And I like to add enough ice to where I don't see any more fabric showing through. And then I'm going to set this off to the side and I'm going to let it batch for 48 hours after the ice melts. After the ice had melted, I came back and checked the saturation and I peeked inside the pleats and everything looked really well, so I just left it alone. So now it's been 48 hours and it's time for the rinse out. And you wanna start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fibers and then gradually increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do however many hot water cycles it takes using Kirilon, and depending upon how many shirts I'm washing, it's usually about two. I take the little plastic cup, and in the hot water portion of the cycle, I scoop it up, and if the water is clear, then I know that I'm ready for my final hot water cycle using Milsoft. And Milsoft is a professional textile detergent, and I get Kirilon and Milsoft from Dharma, and I have links for them down below in the description box. And after that cycle, I put it in the dryer and then I'll iron the shirt and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our dye placement experiment shirt after it's been washed and dried. And I think it turned out pretty cool. I think in the future, maybe I'll call this like a double diamond shirt. Um, you know, it's different. It kind of reminds me of like a kaleidoscope or stained glass. It's sort of speckly, almost like a, like a scrunch in a way. I'm a little bit bummed out about that saturation right in the dead center. Kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. It had really good saturation all over, and so I'm not sure why just right there didn't take. I'm thinking maybe it was pressed up against the silicone cake molds but I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, overall, I'm pretty happy with the shirt. I like the color combination and you know, it's different. You know, it's something different than I normally make. So what do you guys think of this shirt? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.